Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for AwesomeCast.net. This is your mini AwesomeCast, and please uh, remember to check out our friends supporting the show at SliceOnBroadway.com, BullPittsburgh.com, and of course, uh, everything else going on at SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of geekery going on there, things to check out, Sawtooth Willie episodes, uh, new every week, everything like that. Uh, today, we are going to talk about Google and Google's Fi. Uh, what is Google Fi? This is, we've been hearing about this for a while now. Uh, this is Google's attempt to do a phone service. Yes, they're going to change the phone service for you, um, according to uh, The Verge we're reading this morning. And uh, what, what exactly did it do? What, why is this so different? So uh, basically, it looks like right off the bat, it's going to mostly work for the uh, Nexus 6, which is a fine phone, a nice, big Android phone. Honestly, uh, I'm an iPhone user, but if you're getting an Android phone, I highly recommend getting the Nexus brand of phones because it's pure Google. There's no more cruff. There's you know, not all this extra stuff. You get all the updates. It's a pure Google experience. Trust me. Trust me. You're going to want this. <laughs> so it's an MVNO. What's an MVNO? This is one of those services that, that, that are on top of another service. Some of you out there may have straight talk or something like that. Those off or, or Ting is another one. And those often will be a, a service that you buy, but it's actually using like the Sprint service or the T-Mobile service. Typically, those are the two that, that are, you know, these discount or these month to months or, or, or these alternative plans kind of go over. So why is this a little bit different? Um, first of all, when you get the service, it's, it's pay for what you use. Um, if you if you say I want five gigs a month, you only use three. You only pay I think it's ten dollars a gig actually for this. Um, also, it's not just dependent on the service. Now, if you look at T-Mobile and you look at uh, and you look at you look at T-Mobile Sprint, which are the two services this is actually going to use, um, and you combine them. It, 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 I've always been put off by using some of these MVNOs because it's like that the service isn't everywhere. Uh, uh, one guy I work with comes out to the uh, RWA shows all the way out in West Newton, outside of Pittsburgh here, and he has no service whatsoever. And we have we've had Verizon, we've had Verizon MiFi's and uh, AT and T iPhones, and, and we have full service the, the whole ride. That's a problem, and that's scary. But if you combine these phones uh, over these services, they're going to use Sprint, T-Mobile, or if they find an open Wi-Fi connection, and uh, it's it will use whichever is stronger. It starts at twenty dollars a month. That gives you unlimited domestic voice calling uh, and texts, unlimited international calls, coverage in over one hundred twenty con countries, and support for Wi-Fi tethering. All of that right away. Uh, it's whoops, I lost my spot. It's uh, all centered around a hybrid take on wireless coverage that's new to most customers, according to The Verge. Um, they claim that they'll seamlessly hand off between Wi-Fi and mobile networks of T-Mobile and Sprint in the, in the United States. Now. And it's ten dollars for one gigabyte, twenty dollars for two gigabytes. Very straightforward. You, you pay for what you use, and I think that's great. Some people uh, have not had the option to use more than X amount of gigabytes. I, I'm sitting on a thirty gigabyte plan myself by accident, almost on AT and T, and we use like maybe half of that, not even half of that, probably. Um, so how does it compare? There's actually a really good map over here on uh, on the Verge showing exactly what. How does this compare to? what we're seeing on AT&T and Sprint. Or, I'm sorry, AT&T and Verizon, because that's your competition. And uh, I don't know, I think it looks like it's fairly comparative going on here. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, a little rough. You're not going to notice this if you're in a city. And that's always been the issue with Sprint, with Verizon. You're not going to notice, uh, you know, and even the Wi-Fi. I mean, you're driving along in the middle of New Mexico, you're not going to get any Wi-Fis, you know? Uh, but uh, if and there's a lot of comparison over here, actually, for you to check out. So we'll link that article here um, um, in the show notes uh, for this video or uh, this podcast, wherever you're finding us. And uh, let us know what you think. So this is the other, this is the new option. This is Google trying to change and upset the the industry, uh, the cell phone industry. And what do you think of it? Of course, limited right now to the next phone. Uh, hopefully, they will have more uh, coming coming on. In the future, it's invite only for the moment as well. Uh, but you know that's going to change uh, sooner or later as well. What do you think of this? Let us know wherever you found this post on AwesomeCast.net on our YouTube channel, or check us out at AwesomeCast on the Twitter. 
and uh, Facebook. And uh, please subscribe to this and all the rest of the things going on at awesomecast.net. Join us live.awesomecast.net this Tuesday. We actually got one of the guys from Does This Hold Up? A great movie podcast that's uh, here in Pittsburgh. And uh, we hope to have a lot of fun with him. That's Tuesday, 7 p.m. live at awesomecast.net. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.